Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to recover files from the first stage or second stage recycle bin from OneDrive or SharePoint with the help of PowerShell commands all at once. So let's get started. So the commands which we are going to use right now is the commands provided by SharePoint and Diary.com over the internet. Uh, this is not official command. So if you want to perform it, you can perform it on your test tenant first before performing it on a live environment. And uh, once it works for your test tenant, you can give it a try for your live environment as well. But in this video, we are going to perform it right away. You can see the results and use them if you want. So let's get started. So, uh, for example, if you have files deleted in the first stage recycle bin, um, which you can see here, uh, this is uh, Office 365 group, uh, and the file were deleted from the documents section. And as you can see, it is now in the recycle bin. Uh, there are two files in here, one file, one folder. And in case if you have multiple files in here and you don't want to select each of them, and then click on restore even though if you click on all option uh, you might or you have to scroll down till the bottom of the page in case you want to recover the file so that might not be efficient for all the all the admins out there so uh, in that k do have a command which basically recovers only the files which is deleted by the user a specific user and not all the files present in the recycle bin so for example if the file is deleted by a certain user in this case as you can see it is admin and if you have multiple files in the recycle bin few of them which you want to restore which has been deleted by the username admin and the other which other other files which you don't want to recover so in that case, the command would be certainly helpful for you as well. So uh, we just have to open PowerShell. And run it as an administrator. Give the required permissions. All right, we have it open here. And as you can see, all the commands are mentioned uh, in this Word document itself. We will perform them each step by step in order to get um, the files recovered from the first stage or the second stage recycle bit so uh, the first command is this here to install the pnp powershell which is basically used for sharepoint you just have to copy and paste it here or uh, you can just type it manually as well hit enter to install the module And in case if you are having error with installation of the module, you might want to use PowerShell version 7. That might fix the issue. But as you can see, it is installed pretty easily on my computer here. I'm running on Windows 10. And which is up to date as per the OS. And uh, we'll run this command just to be sure uh, if there is a PNP update might update it or it might show us uh, what are the updates available you may or may not use to update it as per your choice and as you can see it did not give me any prompt that's good uh, we'll, so uh, this is the part where it connect to the site where it holds the recycle bin and all the documents so uh, we'll go in here and uh, this is the site right and we'll go to the home page of the site and this is what we need in terms of URL to enter it there so you just have to copy it on the URL bar on the top and uh, go back to the command and we will just replace that with the path which we have just copied
and we'll run it here to connect and it will ask for the email address and password of the admin and do make sure that you're using an admin account which does not have multi-factor authentication turned on otherwise it will not connect via this method so uh, i will add the admin address and password enter and this is the message which where it says that there is a new version available uh, you can install it if you want but i think i have a latest one as of now and would not opt for pre-release so we'll skip that and after it connects uh, we will run this command to get uh, the items which are available in the recycle bin and uh, as you can see this parameter it refers to first stage you can uh, use second stage here as well that will give, uh, bring up the files present in the second stage recycle bin and this get means uh, it will not do any changes there it will just show you the results so we'll copy this and hit enter and as you can see it shows us the title which is the name and the type of the file available as well uh, which is folder and file and the document name and the folder name itself so general and document docs which we can confirm it from the recycle bin in here general and docs all right all right so we are connected to a proper place where we want to restore the files from uh, we'll go back to the document and um, we'll use this command so basically this command is where we get to choose which file we want to re uh, recover from the recycle bin uh, this stores the parameter or the user email address which the later command will recover it using so uh, we'll just replace it with uh, the account email address which has been used to delete the file Alright, so once I have copied it, I will paste it in here, hit enter and you just have to, you can verify it by the same by just running this and it will show you what information it has stored in that parameter and that is what we want it to be having and now um, this parameter dollar item will basically store uh, the files or the information which this user has deleted from the recycle bin so we can just copy this and paste it in here and hit enter so now every files present in the recycle bin has been stored into dollar item and which has been deleted by this user is eventually this so uh, you can make sure the same as well whether you have the correct file stored in dollar items uh, what you have to do is just copy this and paste it in here hit enter and as you can see the information which it is having stored in it so uh, it shows two files which are deleted by this user to be stored in it and the next command will use the dollar item to restore uh, the files within it so as you can see it's a for loop which will basically restore each and every item present in that dollar item with force we just have to copy this 
and once you run the command the files will be restored itself so we'll try another example quickly so uh, as you can see this is on the same site but it is a different list or a different document library itself and it has certain folders within it folders and files within it we'll go back here uh, we'll get rid of all of them from here delete and it went back to the deleted recycle bin which is the first stage we want to recover files which has been deleted by certain individuals who will have to perform the same fill in uh, the information in here as you can see it does have the same email address in here we'll go back to storing all the files in the dollar item parameter will confirm the same as well by clicking on dollar item and as you can see the file title ff and gg are present in here the same which you see in the recycle bin and we'll go back and perform the steps to recover it so this is the command again which will recover all the files from it uh, from the recycle bin deleted by that user itself and not all the files so once you hit enter uh, there you go it has been recovered itself so we we can go back in here refresh the page and you can see the file would be gone and uh, it would be back in the document library itself the same same way it was there earlier it should have the files within it as well as you can see it so uh, this is when we want to recover files deleted by a certain user itself or user account but if in case you want to receive or recover everything from the SharePoint uh, SharePoint recycle bin uh, you just have to perform this command which basically recovers everything present in the first stage recycle bin you can rec uh, choose it to second stage recycle bin as well and that will serve the purpose so we'll go back and remove the files from here again delete and as you can see it is back in the recycle bin so uh, we'll run this command so basically if we remove this part right it will show us the files in the first stage you can confirm that as well and uh, then you can perform this together okay let me just paste it again and hit enter and it will give you uh, the prompt as well uh, you can press y and press y again you can you can use hyphen force to do it all at once without even asking you for the permission and once we go back in here you will see the files which has been recovered itself and present in the document library where it was earlier as well so there you go guys if you have any question doubt uh, you can drop a comment as well please do subscribe as well if you need office 365 exclusive content and uh, with that being said uh, you guys have a nice day bye, -bye.